So finally, you can get Apple CarPlay in your Tesla Model 3 in the big center screen. Check this out. What's up guys, Manny from Camera to Freedom. If you use your camera to take photos and videos and make YouTube content, then follow me and let's go. So guys, so finally, you can get Apple CarPlay in your dash, in your main screen. So before I had a little display that had Apple CarPlay in it, right? But it wasn't really integrated to your car. It was just another display that allowed you to use Apple CarPlay. You can use your phone, right? So what's the difference? This one is different. This one allows the Apple CarPlay to appear in your center console, in the center screen. So then it feels like it's part of Tesla, right? There's some kind of weird attachment, detachment. Like it's kind of like this. If you watch a movie in the big screen in your living room, but all of a sudden you decide to take out your phone to watch a movie in your phone, there's this different kind of experience that you feel. It's not part of this theater, you know, surround sound system. It's just your phone. There's this weird detachment. It's similar to using Apple CarPlay in your car. You could easily use Apple CarPlay with your phone. Obviously, it works and, you know, and so on. But it feels like it's part of your car and you just have a better experience when the Apple CarPlay appears in the big screen. You can use Apple CarPlay in your phone, but if you hold your phone, then that's illegal. I've been, I guess it is. Because recently, I've been pulled over because I had my phone on a, uh, it was on a phone holder. And the cop behind me thought I was holding it because it, it looked like it was floating. So he pulled me over and was trying to give me a ticket. But I told him, no, no, it's on the phone holder. And, you know, he let me go. But I don't know the laws out there. But, you know, if the cops could kind of bust you for something like that, then you might as well just avoid trouble and just not have the phone in your hand. Right. Of course, it's dangerous to do that. Dangerous to drive with the phone in your hand, no matter what you're doing with it. But if you have it in your center screen, then you won't get in trouble. So now I can use Waze comfortably i can use spotify your tesla spotify you have to have an account i'm so cheap i i can't get myself i have so much subscriptions it must be i must be paying over hundreds of dollars for all my subscriptions put together but if i could save some money i try right so a spotify i have the free account and just you know it comes with commercials but i don't care it works but you cannot use free Spotify in your Tesla Model 3. If you have Apple CarPlay in the center console, it will use my free Spotify account. So that's really fun. I love using my Spotify for music compared to every other um, music streaming service out there. So that's really neat, right? Tesla has an amazing system to have you voice text. It'll read the text for you. And then you could also reply and say what you want the car to text back. It's not perfect. It likes to cut off after a sentence or two. So if you have like three, four sentences or even a paragraph to send to uh, the recipient, then it doesn't work that well. For some reason, it just likes to cut you off and then, you know, then it's you send it off. But I really enjoy using Siri, my Apple iPhone, to reply using voice to text. Uh, it works really well, in my opinion. Um, and that's not perfect, of course, <laughs> but it does an amazing job. So if I wanted to reply to somebody, I would touch my phone. It's on a phone holder. I would click on it and then let Siri read the text for me uh, because Siri does, your iPhone does have an ability to have Siri read your text for you. And then I would, you know, reply using my phone, right? But I'm touching my phone. It might be illegal. It might be, right? But you don't want to take a chance. So, but if it's in your, in your car, you can use Siri to reply back and it does a great job. So I'm going to share with you guys how to install it and just show you guys how it looks just overall. And then if you guys do like it, I will have the discount code link below. If you guys do buy from me, I appreciate you so very much. All right, so check this out. All right, so let's open this up. Very simple. There it is. There's the system. So this thing, you connect using your USB-C cable and it comes with a couple of USB-C cables and you just connect it to any of your USB slots in your car. I could plug it in here. You could plug it inside if you want to and all it needs is really power. So if you really actually wanted to plug it to an external battery, you know, for example, you can, but of course that's kind of silly, right? Plug it to your car. The coolest thing I recommend is going to your glove box and then plug in in here so if you have a hub like this so if you don't have a hub you need this slot for your thumb drive so that security camera could record into your thumb drive i will put the hub link below if you guys are interested in getting that you can then have your thumb drive for your security i have a wireless game remote control plugged in and now i could have this plugged in in here it's got four slots in there it's got three usbs 
and one USB-C. So that's really cool. You can leave it in there and then close it. For now, I will plug it in here. All right, so you go to your Wi-Fi right over here and then you connect to Smartbox. All right, it's connected. Now that's because I've been previously connected, but it's going to ask you for a password and you want to put eight, number eight, eight times. And then that's your password. All right, and now open up your web browser. This thing runs off of your web browser and the website is called tslbox.cn and there it is. You have Apple CarPlay. So the response isn't as fast. It's running off of the uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi connection. So the response isn't as quick as it normally should, but it still works really great. I mean, look at that. Okay, there's a little lag, but I'm telling you, it works really well. So look how cool that looks. Isn't that neat? So I highly recommend it if you guys are totally in love with Apple CarPlay and you need it in your car because you're so used to it. I think Tesla does an amazing job without Apple CarPlay. I, of course, been used to it for this past year and it works super well. So in the end, it's just a matter of preference. If you love Apple CarPlay, get it. If you don't care for it, then of course it's not for you. So yeah, once again, I will put the discount code link below. If you guys do get it from me, thank you so very much. If you guys watch this all the way through, thank you even more. I love you for that. Thank you. And please leave a comment below. Just ask any questions. If you guys want to talk Tesla, it's all good. I love to communicate back and forth and also helps me with my algorithm. So they say, so I appreciate the comments and I will see you next time.